Mix is presented to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. Half a day and welcome to the show. When was the last time you really took a moment to observe your surroundings? Not just observe, but truly appreciate its beauty. April 22nd was Earth Day, so to celebrate, Victoria's Fallen and I took a trip down to visit the northern refuge of Ritidian. On this episode, we'll also zoom in to a local Ned whose little art corner has branched out into the small business of her dreams. But first, we're exploring a new holistic therapy that literally taps into your body's natural system of healing. I'm Tyler Matanani, and this is Uno Mix. I was trying to ask Victorious what Body Talk is because he's actually the one that told me about it and said that Leia practices it. So I was trying to get an idea of what it was and I was really hoping that I was going to be getting a massage out of it, but apparently there's no massage involved and she does it all through speaking to you. I don't know if she speaks to me or to the body. So that should be interesting. Hopefully she doesn't, um, I don't know. Kind of Find out. I don't know. What kind of secrets would my body have? Hi, my name is Leah Cook. I am a licensed massage therapist and a certified body talk practitioner. I've been practicing massage for about 18 years now. And in my massage practice, I focus mostly on corrective or deep, what would be considered deep tissue specific work and also working with intuitive body work where I allow my senses and technical training to guide how I work with the body. I'm not a type of therapist that does routines where I, I work more specifically with the individual person. And that brings in what we're doing today with body talk. So today we'll be doing a body talk session, which is a holistic health system that works with the individual person and everything that is involved in their healing and their, let's say, illness or the lack of wellness is how I would prefer to call it. So with Body Talk, we address the body from a subconscious or a consciousness base where the thoughts, the actions, the experiences, anything that has occurred within our lifetime from conception to where you are now can affect your health. It can help affect your wellness. So in Body Talk, we find the priorities for what needs to be addressed to really kickstart and keep your innate healing uh, in gear. So we all have an ability to heal. It's something we were born with and it's a natural instinctive process that our bodies know how to do from conception. We know how to create a whole human just from two cells coming together. And that continues from our healing processes and how we work with the body. So it's how our body... Okay, before we were so rudely interrupted, okay. um, I think we were talking about body to mind connection, communication. Right, correct. So that is exactly what Body Talk works with. We work with the body-mind system. So it's how our mind interacts with our body we, and also how each individual pieces of our body communicate. So nothing is a standalone. In what's considered the dynamic system of, or dynamic theory, every individual piece is connected to every other piece. So your cells know what's happening in your tissues and that's between you and me anything outside so all atoms are connected and have an understanding this can go with like ideas of quantum physics but we you know we don't need to go as far as that. yeah it could be really getting into that geeky stuff we do use hand positions on the body um, we can work off the body but like you said it's not actual manipulation of soft tissues there may be times where we may need to hold something just to bring that greater awareness so part of it works with the observer effect as well and some people may think that's airy fairy like oh you see something oh that's just the placebo effect but anything can be the placebo effect but if it makes action and it makes positive changes okay. then you know who's to blame. <laughs> How did you find out about it? I actually found out about it the first time I heard about it was 
um, maybe in around 2007 or 2008 from a massage therapy student that I had. I was teaching at a massage school in Miami and she was becoming licensed as a massage therapist in order to do body talk because to touch a person in Florida, you have to have a massage therapy license. So fast forward to about 2015 here in Guam, I saw an ad in the newspaper and it said, come learn body talk, a specific uh, class called Access, which is something people can do on their own to help themselves and their family. It's not um, as in depth as anything that we'll be doing today. And it's not specific to each person. And, and you know, I had to actually call, message that student and be like, hey, there's something for body talk that's happening here. Is this real? Because, you know, it's so far away. And she said, oh yeah, there's an international website. You can look it up. You can look up the instructor. And lo and behold, I was like, oh, this is a actual body talk instructor coming out here to teach something. So I jumped on. And then maybe a year and a half later, we brought her back out to teach the course. And there was a small handful of us, I think maybe five of us in the class. And then I continued my journey there. I went to the Philippines to be, take the course again and become licensed because that was the closest place I could get. And I went to Ireland to take some advanced courses. Wow. Yeah. So it is a, quite of a journey to get the information um, and just trying to build it here, get, get the word out on Guam. It, it is different, so it is a bit of a challenge. Well, Leia, thank you so much for thank teaching you. us about the whole mystical world of body talk. It was definitely very new. I feel like another session would definitely help me kind of understand the different um, elements that you're trying to target. But, um, you know, hopefully this uh, inspires others to give it a shot. And before uh, we wrap this up, can you just throw out where people can follow you, um, how they can book a session with you? So you can... Uh, follow me on Instagram. It's wellspring underscore healing. Um, that would be the easiest way. If people don't have that, they can email me. I can give you my email. Yeah, Jeff. They can email me at Leah Ann Cook, L E A H A Y N K O C H at Gmail. And those would be the best ways. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. And we'll be back. Camera. We'll be back with more Uno Mix after this. Thank you. Uno Mix is presented to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. Mixed is presented to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. What started as an Instagram account to showcase her graphic design work ended up turning into a small business. Kersha Titano is an island girl with a plan.
go anywhere. More Uno Mix after this. Uno Mix is presented to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. is presented to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. Nana Nature holds so much healing energy and it's great to just sit back and soak in the beauty of our island. That's exactly what Victoria's Fallen and I did. In celebration of Earth Day, we explored our artistic side down here at Ritidian. Yo, what's up? I know. You're like, who is this guy? What is he doing on this? This is not the podcast. No, it's not. Hey, hey that's who. That's your host right there. What? Well, she's driving, and when you're driving, you know you, can't, you shouldn't be on your phone. So, passenger, that's his job. So yeah, we're headed up to uh, this cool event, which I've just told what like three days ago. I don't even. Yeah. Um, we are going to Retidian Point right now for art at the refuge, and we're gonna be sitting outside under a canopy. We're gonna have a total of, I think it's 21, 20 people there, uh, all six feet apart, and we're just gonna be painting in nature. Earth Day was a couple of days ago, so this is a great uh, way to just appreciate the beauty of this island. So uh, what better way to do that than to capture it through? Yeah, and it's nice. gonna be up in Retinian, so that's Ooh. what a way. And we got me driving. Yeah, and she's so driving. It's gonna be fun. FYI, she just she didn't even know where Retinian is, so. <laughs> I used to live in Chico. <laughs> I don't know. And it's yeah, I don't think it's in yeah, it's it's there, but it's on the other side of where she she's there, lives, but so. on the other side. You said NCS here. Right? Yeah, NCS. I'm I'm pretty sure I've been to Retinian before, but. Pretty sure. I don't know. I mean, if you if you if, you know, if you've never heard of Retinian. It has one of the beautiful, most natural beaches on Guam. So if you want that. I think you meant to say most beautiful natural beaches on Guam. What did I say? Most natural, most beautiful natural. beaches on Guam. You know what? It's it's a vlog thing. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> you know No, I've actually really been wanting to start a vlog. My only thing is I can't edit. So. Just start. Want to start a vlog? Let's start a uh, vlog. Let's, why not? But would uh, you be down to edit? <laughs> It's a hang thing. It's a hang thing vlog. Hang Turning back, guys. Pick up that brush and do you. I'm, my name is Fawn, and um, I'm actually a fourth generation Mendiola artist. So I graduated with a, uh, from Academy of Art in San Francisco. I have my bachelor's degree in um, BFA in art education. So I've been painting for maybe about 15, 16 years. Yeah, and then I, I, run a, I ran a small business, and I ventured off into like a lot of the stuff in the community. I uh, painted with the Manunkus. I've taken my art. Um, Actually, 2019, I went on tour, painted in Hawaii, Vegas, and in San Francisco, uh, San Diego. And, um, you know, it's been a, a great journey. And this happening today is really, a li it's a bit emotional because before COVID started, um, or hit, Kina and I were actually planning this, and then we had to put everything to a stop. So for this to actually happen was, was very rewarding. Tell us what uh, art in the park is and what everyone's going to be doing here today. So art in the park, um, it's just a combination of you know what, what surrounds our culture, our island, what is important to us. We're going to feature the turtle, the Retidian cliff line, some of our coral, and um, it's just it's going to be free to the community. You know, whoever gets to sign up first, it's on a first come first serve base, and we're just going to be recreating what we see and what we want to preserve onto your campus. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of scared that we signed up for something that we're a bit underqualified for.
I'm so upset because it was at a perfect spot and then I decided to fix it up a little bit and I ended up just messing up. Are you up for the challenge to do the whole thing? Damn. Big reveal in three, two, one. I've got to say, I'm thoroughly satisfied with how it turned out. Um, there were a lot of areas where I was just like, good lord, I need the Holy Spirit to help save this painting right now. Um, you can see a little bit that there are some incomplete parts. So over here, I just remember her telling us to do a turtle shell. And I never actually completed that turtle, so there's like just a turtle shell chilling here on the shore. Or it could be just like a uh, patch of grass. Yeah. Uh, patch of grass on the beach. It's sleeping. <laughs> Vic, you've got some interesting I, elements going on there. Um, yeah, like I said, I tried to, to mimic as much as I possible of uh, uh, what uh, Bond was here. But uh, I, I'm really, I'm, I really love the, 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 the end. The end uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. It's just I remember the moment that a glob of paint just dropped. Yeah, I dropped. I was uh, working through my paint and a, a bit dropped there, and I totally forgot about it. So halfway through, I'm like, oh, I should go back to that, and it was already um, nice and dry. Dried. I'm like, you know what? Just leave it there. Just add a little, you know, a little personality. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, but I love love how the turtle turn out and I like the little sailboat touch there. Yeah, and I was like, you know what? Let's just add a little some song. This is towards when people were just finishing up and running to take that group photo. I'm like, oh, let me just add something, uh, so, something island, more islander, uh, you know, to the picture. So I added a canoe, a little outrigger, you know. Well, I've got to say, this was a great way to yes. just um, enjoy this beautiful island. Um, you know, and I think one of the main things that we do want to focus is that, yes, although Earth Day is celebrated in April, Earth Day is something that should be honored every single day. Nice and we don't just take a single day or a single month out of the whole year to dedicate, you know, uh, our time to take care of this planet because it's our home and we're borrowing it from the future generation. So, um, this was so much fun. I know. What a way to spend a Saturday. A long, busy week and then just end it like this. Just sitting down, you know, just painting something beautiful. That's a very productive Saturday. I'll take that. You could say it was a lot of fun. fun. Hey. Okay, enough with the dad jokes. I think it's time to take a break. We'll be back with more Uno Mix right after this. Uno Mix is presented to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. Uno Mix is presented to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. Thanks for sticking with us. If you have a small business that you'd like us to feature, or if there's anything crazy that you'd like us to try, message us at any of the contacts down below. I'm Tyler Matanani, this is Uno Mixed, and we'll see you next time. Adios!